Well, some of my best memories of my dad are just that he's always um, uh, been interested in keeping us active and, and participating in lots of different things, whether that was um, sports or just playing around. Um, and one specific memory I have from, uh, from last year, kind of an example of that, is he decided that it would be fun to do the Starlight Run. Um, together and it had been a while since I had done anything like that but we went ahead and did it um, and it was uh, about 95 degrees uh, it felt more like 105 degrees but we made it uh, to the end and it was and it was um, really fun um, and just the things that I remember is he always did make time to do stuff individually with each each one of us so we all kind of had a special thing or time that we got to spend with him without anybody else. <laughs> when I think about my dad, the thing that comes to mind most is how he loved to work with wood. Dad took wood and would massage it and change it into things that he found very beautiful and nice and I think many of you do too. I think most of you either have a clock or you have a pen set or you have a toothpick holder or you have a table but if it's made from wood, Dad really appreciated that. And he loved it because it was God's creation that he then was able to transform into something useful. And I can't ever think of anything else other than him being in his garage, working on his wood projects. So I guess to start with, um, so my folks were never married. My dad um, was met, had met my mom when he was living in, what was it? Mapleton, I think at the time. And uh, so, born and bred in Oregon, and then uh, my dad and my mom separated when I was too young to remember. Um, I went with my dad for a while, so I spent the first, what, all the way through fifth grade bouncing back and forth between my mom's and my dad's. Um, my dad was the one constant throughout all that. My mom was a bit more variable, um, but my dad was definitely a constant. Um, he got married again in, I think, 1980. and. Uh, had three stepsons at that point, and he was a great father to the three of them. Uh, about my fifth grade year, when I was supposed to go to my mom's, I really didn't want to. I actually tried hiding from her, and uh, I don't think I was there maybe two weeks. I called him kind of in a frantic panic. I didn't want to be there anymore. And midnight, he shows up, takes me home. That was a, a big turning point in my life. It was powerful though to see how he dropped everything to come up and, and get me. After that point, um, I've been with my dad ever since and he has, he has instilled a lot of value in me. I did not grow up in a godly home, um, but some of the godly characteristics, you know, the, the selflessness, uh, servitude, humility, um, my dad exemplifies all of those. Uh, he's been a hard worker my entire life a jack of all trades. I've learned so much from him, um, just doing little things, everything, you know, from a better way to split wood um, to building homes. Uh, my dad built, um, real remodeled, tore down part of, and built the first house that we grew up in, and then built his the house that he's in now. So I definitely learned a lot. Um, you'll see in these pictures, uh, a lot of pictures of my dad doing stuff. Uh, and that's the kind of guy he was. He was always working. Um, a wealth of knowledge across the board. Um, so I definitely learned a lot through him. My dad's name was Lyle Wilmer LaFollette. And as a kid, we would laugh so hard at his name and we would tease him all the time about Wilmer. And actually, that was a, a, a tame name compared to his brothers and sisters. They had horrible names. I don't know what grandma and grandpa were thinking. But anyway, my dad was such a good sport about it. But when my dad was in grade school, his Sunday school teacher gave him this verse, and, and this is his life verse, and it's the Ephesians 4.32, and it's, be kind to one another, tenderhearted, uh, forgiving one another, just as God in Christ forgave you. And that was my dad. He was always tenderhearted and kind and sweet, and it was, um, but, and he also was a trickster. He always told me to keep my hair out of my mouth, because if I swallowed a hair that was attached, I would turn my head inside out. I totally believe that. And of course the watermelon seed in your ear too. He was such a meanie, uh, but a lot of fun. And then um, I had, 
I had my children later in life and my sister and eldest brother had their children earlier and my dad was the best grandpa and I couldn't wait for my boys to know their, their grandpa and unfortunately um, you know, God had other intentions and um, my dad died at age 62 but luckily um, Brad got to know him a little bit and Brian came five weeks premature and my dad died four weeks later so if Brian would have come on time we would have missed they would have missed each other but I've got some great pictures of my dad so I um, remember so much that my dad was always had a wonderful listening ear and I could tell him anything and I shared a lot of my secrets with my dad and he was always there for me I loved him dearly